is Tomas Benlader, and together they are known as Daft Punk. They have been playing for 20 years and traveling all over the world. Their most recent album, Random Excess Memories, has been listened to more than 8 million times in the U.S. on serving stream of Spotify. This is better than their last album, Human After All, which has just sold 125,000 copies, less than half of what Random Excess Memories sold in its first week. And this was on the uh, Los Angeles Times. Thomas Bombardier once said that the spirit of house music, electronic music, in the beginning was to break the rules and to do things in many different ways. He also said music was a vector that we wanted to build a universe around. Music has, um, most people have the idea that electronic music follows the same format the music industry is using today, which is to repeat the same beat and chorus over and over again. Electronic music might be repetitive, but it's a genre where it remixes different musical sounds and remixes it into one brand new song. Whether it's rock, hip hop, pop, or country, everyone has their own taste in music. However, you should know more in detail about how a band like Daft Punk got started. I've researched the history of Daft Punk. I started listening to their music after hearing their song to rest on the Tron Legacy movie soundtrack back in 2007. Um, I listen to their music in my car whenever I'm not in the mood, and they are one of my favorite bands to listen to. Um, next slide. Oh, next one. Hey, okay. So today I'm going to be talking about how Daft Punk got started, what awards they have won, what albums and songs they've made, and how they have changed the music industry. So let's go into detail on how Daft Punk got started. Uh, next one. All right. So, according to Weiner from the Rolling Stone, he notes that Daft Punk are the most enigmatic superstars in pop. In addition to hiding their faces at performances, in videos, and in photographs, they operate largely in secrecy and keep a tight grip on biographical details in those rare instances where they grant interviews. In the early 90s, Daft Punk disbanded from their rock band Darwin to start working on electronic dance music. They, their first record label they, sent, they signed with was Soma Records, and they created their first record known as The New Wave. After Daft Punk made their first record, they signed with Virgin Records and re-released their, um, their first single, to Fall, on their first album known as Home. Uh, next slide. Ooh, okay. Uh, though the group had previously performed without costumes, um, yes, yes. The duo started to wear masks and had their faces digitally altered or animated during press releases. After the success of their second album, Discovery, Daft Punk started to wear futuristic uh, suits and LED enhanced helmets for press releases and advertising campaigns. Now that we know how they got started, let's go over what awards they have won and albums they have made. Next slide. So free. Okay. <laughs> and according to Raman from the Entertainment Weekly, electronic, <coughs> electronic music has steadily gained currency in the mainstream over the past several years, and Random Access Memories solidified that trend by being the first pure dance album to win the award. On January 26, 2014, Daft Punk won Best Album and Record of the Year for a random excess memory of the 2014 Grammys, leading out Taylor Swift and Bruno Mars. The albums they have released so far are Homework in 1996, Discovery in 2001, Human After All in 2005, and Random Access Memories in 2013. Um, next slide. So, in 1996, Homework was extremely influential to the dance music scene. That's the first album I hear in 1997. Um, it also created a collection of Daft Punk's legendary music videos in 1999. Oh, next slide. Yeah. As I said again, it also created a collection of Daft Punk's legendary music videos in 1999 called Daft. A story about dogs, androids, firemen, and tomatoes. The best songs from that album were Alive and Around the World, which combined techno, house, and raid elements. Their instrumental, uh, instrumental music. In 2001, Daft Punk released their second album, Discovery. 
This album sound had more of a disco and synth punk fused style than their first album. They also include samples of songs from the 1970s and 80s. Some of their most successful songs on that album were Harder, Better, Faster, Stronger, Face to Face, and One More Time, the song that I just played. Um, this album would later become part of a soundtrack of an anime film known as Interstellar 555, which was released in 2003, and I think it's called The Secret Service of the Star System. Okay. Um, with incredible success, Daft Punk has inspired and worked with many musical artists for the past two decades. Uh, next slide. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, according to Doris from the Time Magazine, he states that Daft Punk is the sound of a world in which the boundaries of the past, present, and future have been tumbled together into a setting down Dad, Daft Punk has collaborated with many musical artists such as Pharrell Williams, most of you know from Happy, um, Paul Williams, Nile Rodgers, Julian Casablancas from The Strokes, and Kanye West. Yes, I knew you did Kanye West. Yeah, they did their song uh, Stronger yes. back in 2008. Yeah, it won a Grammy, I think. Um, they even got to perform their single Get Lucky live with Stevie Wonder, right there. Uh, at the 2014 Grammys. Their music has influenced other musical artists in the same genre, such as Skrillex and Dead Mouse, because of their live shows. And this was from the Botanica Encyclopedia from Coming Down. Their, their most popular songs include Technology, Aerodynamic, Touch, Content, Robot Rock, and Digital Love. So overall, today I talked about the history of Daft Punk, how they got started, what albums, what awards and albums they have made, and how they have influenced the music industry. Now you'll learn some, da some background on Daft Punk. Hopefully you will take the time to listen to their music. According to Von Ladeer, usually a band 20 years into its existence doesn't put out its best records. After the disappointment of Human After All, I believe Daft Punk took some influence from other musical artists over the years and improved their music by making it fresh and modern for a new generation. He also said Daft Punk would not exist if there was no technology. Just like other, oh, next slide. I'm going to move. So, yeah, the next slide. There we go. Just like other electronic bands, such as the Chemical Brothers, Just the Funk, Mr. Oizo, Fat Boy Slim, our culture and society would be different if it weren't for technology. Just remember that music is how we view the world today. We all have different tastes in music, but we can all agree that what we listen to can change who we are as a person. Thank you for your time.